My name is Isaac Orozco. Today is April 28th, 2024. I'm in 10th grade. Mm, I feel excited to see what my responses have changed and what <laughs> what I did, what I said in the interview because I haven't seen it since last year. So yeah, I'm excited. My favorite subject is math. <laughs> Math, I, math still is my favorite subject, but I, this year my favorite class so far has been physics. So that's, I guess, the only thing that's changed. Um, I just like how more, more math is used in science and how, <laughs> like, the whole class is basically math, so, yeah, and math's my favorite subject, so, yeah. <laughs> um, right now I'm in academic decathlon and I'm the ninth grade representative for AVID. This year I'm the president of academic decathlon and I'm also the 10th grade AVID representative. And yeah, so we had our first competition for academic decathlon and I got third place in interview. So that was nice. And I got a medal. Yeah. <laughs> I look up to my mom. Yeah. <laughs> I think I still look up to my mom the most. I will listen to what she says, the words of encouragement she gives me every day before school, and yeah. <laughs> I think the biggest event is just almost finishing my first year of high school, yeah. I would say, I guess it's similar to that, fin like finishing my second year and one step getting closer into college, finishing high school, all of that. So I just, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of myself for going another year and I can't wait to get to the, to the end. <laughs> mm, I, I, I define it like as casual, maybe, kind of something like that, yeah. I think my style is just like all over the place. I don't have a specific style I wear, but my favorite thing to wear is flannels. That's my favorite thing, yeah. <laughs> I feel like that I am more confident. You don't worry about what other people think. That's, that's what has made me more confident. <laughs> From this year to last year, I also think I'm more confident. I've learned to stand up for myself and <laughs> and learn like what what's right and what I have to do to keep being successful. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> when I don't turn in assignments and stuff like that. I still feel the same pressure as last year, or even more because of now taking AP classes and more advanced classes. And I feel like throughout high school, it's gonna be even more, but I've learned to minimize the pressure with doing work early on time and not having late assignments or having my grades drop. Mm, I hope, I hope to, be doing the same thing I'm doing right now, keep, keeping up with my classes and taking the right path. Mm. A year from now, I will, I hope to be doing the same thing because maintaining my grades and keep, keeping up with all my work as, as right now. And one thing I would change, I think would be time management, learning how to use... <laughs> <laughs> Learning how to like utilize my time efficiently and not wasting it on other things that are less important. <laughs> my favorite movie is Up. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite movie is still Up. It's always gonna be Up. I just love watching that movie. It's not, it never gets old. <laughs> What's most important to me is probably my family. I still think my family is the most important thing to me. It's just, I feel like I couldn't live without them. Yeah, it's just what's, it's the people I spend every day of my life with, so 
it would just be weird without them. <laughs> I don't really use electronics, but the thing that like it's really interesting, like how I like phones have really evolved and we use it in our everyday lives now. I think the biggest, well, not tech item, but AI, how it has really like, how we, we are able to use it every day now for everyday things. And it's like really weird. And like how even in school, like now teachers say, oh, if you use AI, you get a zero. And like before we didn't have to worry about that. And now it's like a rule on essays too now. So I just think that's really funny. A bit creepy at the same time. <laughs> Spending time with my family and my friends brings me joy. Yeah. Um, what brings me joy is also, I think, I guess the same thing. Spending time with my family, my sisters, my parents on the weekend, stuff like that. No, there's still a lot of things I need to learn. <laughs> I will bait from, from now to last year, I feel like I have grown more but there's still more things I need to learn and experience and stuff like that. But yeah, I still don't feel grown up all the way. <laughs> I would say to not give up and to do your best. Some words of encouragement I would say to myself a year from now is keep doing what you're doing, don't stress, even though I know I will, but <laughs> Don't stress, take, ad take advantage of what tools are given to you to make sure you're successful in the future. <laughs>